during the Every Child Matters movement, a sign identifying the parkway was covered up. Calls from Indigenous groups in Ottawa to change the name have finally been taken seriously because on Thursday the National Capital Commission announced its intent on making a change happen by September. Uh, should be uh, a conversation and very much uh, led uh, by our Algonquin partners. So that's um, now what our focus on in light of the decision of the board this morning. And so the intention is to do that over the course of the winter and come back to the board at its June meeting. And we're crossing our fingers that we can get all of these steps done in time to have more of a formal and public uh, renaming process um, on the Day of Truth and Reconciliation at the end of September. Pikwaknagan Chief Wendy Jocko says it's been a long time coming. Members of her community have been asking for it for years. She said it will mean a lot to residential school survivors. Well, recognition that this was uh, a Prime Minister who put in place horrific policies to um, discriminate, you know, uh, to uh, suppress, to terminate uh, Indigenous people. This, this is a historic moment, you know, that uh, the NCC will be changing the name of that parkway. Because quite frankly, every time I go to Ottawa and drive on it, you, you know, it, it does... Uh, trigger memories of, uh, you know, his name even being mentioned. So I think it's uh, it's a very good, very good move forward. According to the NCC, the goal is to have a renaming ceremony on September 30th to mark National Truth and Reconciliation Day. Annette Francis, AP10 National News, Ottawa.